Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Heroes Chronicles. We're just about to the end of the first scenario in the Conquest of the Underworld campaign. Tarnum and Cuthbert here have both reached the level cap, and I think we're going to work on Sonya next. So, okay. Oh, first let's click on the screen and get the sound back. Hopefully you'll be able to hear at least some of it. I think basically we were the one reason we were delaying was to have everybody go to each of the castles and visit all the mage guilds so they could learn all the spells they could before we move on to the next scenario. And there's no troops to hire here. So we'll just have turn him step out and maybe start heading towards that purple quest guard. Okay, meanwhile Cuthbert needed to visit this Castle's Magic Guild. And we'll start moving him there. Oh, can't yet. Okay. Then Sonya can move here. That, visit that magic guild. And let's see if we can get her out. Caitlin's in the way. Oh, Caitlin, get moving. Okay. Now, what is Edric trying to do? trying to go somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Alright, Caitlin. I think you were trying to give your familiars to Cuthbert anyway. Now maybe you're out of Cuthbert's way so he can go visit the Mage Guild in that last castle. Of course, don't... Yeah. We still gotta move somebody out of the way. Maybe Edric. Okay, we'll get Caitlin moving somewhere. And Tyrus? I think somebody had room for a few extra art. For a few, yeah. Tyrus, let's have you give your marksman to Tarnum. And then maybe we can give your halberdiers to Cuthbert. Still don't know that's going to make it easier to get anybody moved. Of course not. Yeah. We can get her close though. Sonia is the one we particularly want to get to the quest guard since she's the one who needs to level up. And Edric, let's get you somewhere. Maybe right behind Tyrus. Okay, and I don't think there's anything we need to build in any of the towns. So we've built everything there is. So let's get on to the next turn. I am quite happy with The compression I've been getting with that Cinepak codex so much so that I decided to increase the video length. If I complete this scenario before the 
we run the timer out, though, I might just end the video early anyway. So it'll make a good stopping point. Okay, so we pass the purple border guard. There are some horned demons there. And, ooh, an endless sack of gold. I mean, not that we'll have the use of it too long, but it's one way to get Sonya some combat experience. What? Did you think we're just going to hand over this gold? That's just not the funniest thing I've heard all year. And they run. Okay. So, not very challenging. Edric, get out of the bloody way. Uh, Caitlin, move. Tiris, I think we're going to move you towards Cuthbert. Edric, let's get you out of Tarnum's way. And then let's start heading Turnham towards the purple, well, towards the garrison there. Okay. Now I'll have Sonya pick up the endless sack of gold. Little leprechaun dances gleefully around the magic sack. Seeing you approach, he stops in mid-stride. The little man screams and stamps his foot ferociously, vanishing into thin air. Remember the old leprechaun saying, Finders keepers, you grab the sack and leave. Okay, well, here's the garrison. Yeah, I think the, the Freedy are going to be new. Oh, look, treasure chest. Winding your way through the mountains, you see signs of habitation, old campfires, Bones of consumed animals. Too late, you realize you're surrounded. Gogs attack! They must be protecting the entrance to the underworld. Oh, well. Sign you need the combat experience anyway. And they are missile troops, so... Ooh. Okay... Oh, she's got lots of good spells now. Well, we've got 13 times 25. That's about 325 total hit points. So we might as well use something pretty powerful. But yet something single target, too. So, oh, now it can only be level 1. Okay. Yeah, Lightning Bolt is level 2. So, Magic Arrow it is. suppose 50 points of damage is better than nothing. Yeah, let's fly the Royal Griffins and move the Cerberi up. And the Familiars. And the Crusaders. Yeah, there's a range penalty for... Oh, hey, we didn't actually have to engage him immediately. Very good. Okay, now we take the treasure chest. I suppose I should have taken the experience, but I'm so used to just taking the money. Okay, let's save... she might get some experience out of this. I mean, there's not that many in any one stack, but there's certainly enough different kinds of creatures here. Ooh, a free souls. Uh, 
Okay, let's try... Let's see if we can use Lightning Bolt. Okay, we can, actually. Okay, we'll try Lightning Bolt on the Magogs. Instead of the missile units. Well, the Afrit Sultans do have a fire shield. Oh, yeah. We should have no problem taking out the Cerberi. can't really reach him yet, so I think I'm going to have the familiars protect the Armagogs. Oh! Okay. The Pit Lords. Resurrected some of the fallen critters as demons. Ooh, okay, we could do full damage on them. And use their bonus shot to take out the remaining Magogs. Okay, and we can do full damage on the Horn Demons. And then we'll... Yeah, we move the halberdiers to protect the Magogs and the... Okay, now... Oh... We'll finish off those horn Demons. And now the server I can reach the Pit Lords. Familiar shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep, they're gone. We didn't lose that much. Okay, she's now level 2. I could take Advanced Earth Magic or Basic Diplomacy. I'm My rule of thumb is that when you can develop a skill you've already got open, take that. Although I like Basic Diplomacy too. Yeah, Advanced Wisdom so she can learn level 4 spells. And so I suppose theoretically I could have her go around and visit all the magic guilds again, but I would really rather not. You know that deep within the bowels of the earth, demonic forces lay in wait to tear you limb from limb. Before entering such a world, it would be most prudent to have a well-armed force at your back. So this is a hint, hint, save your game before you do this. And make sure you've got a good size army with you. Okay, uh, plenty of resources actually. And those devils are what we have to defeat to complete the scenario. Okay, now. Who's closer? Well, I suppose we could send. either Cuthbert or Tarnum through. Yeah, Cuthbert can get a little bit farther. Okay. As long as it's understood that Sonya is the one who gets to take out the devils. Which means Tarnum should be prepared to give some of his troops to Sonya if necessary. Okay, so there's Edric. There's Caitlin. I think we should have Caitlin station herself by those creature generators. Edric. Let's see. Now there's Tyrus. Curious, I think we're going to put you up here. And gather troops. I know we could have had you give your troops to 
one of the three that we're going to be taking to the next scenario, but and Adric, we're going to have you just outside those kennels. And on to the next week. Astrologers proclaim week of the beholder. Beholder growth, but plus five. I don't think there are any beholders in this scenario, so I won't worry about them. Cuthbert, let's send you through. And you can pick up the rest of those loose resources. You are not going to engage those arch devils, though. Before continuing, you remember your promise to Queen Allison. And dispatch a letter stating that you've made it to the Underworld Gate and are just now securing the passage. All that's left are some arch devils, and you're certain your army can handle them. Yeah. Okay, Tarnum. Let's get you in there and you can supplement Sonya's forces with your own. Okay, that should do it. And I think we will save at this point and then have Sonya make her attempt on the Arch Devils. Let's cross our fingers. Seven of them. And of course, being the upgraded tier 7 critters they are they get to move first and we don't have enough spell points to do a lightning bolt nor an ice bolt <sighs> okay all we've got left is one stinking magic arrow Well, I suppose every little bit helps. Well, let's everybody gang up on the stack of arch devils. Okay. Well, since he can't reach the arch devils, let's have the Cerberi. where they can protect somebody else. We'll have the familiars attack. And since we've got the crusaders right there, we'll have them attack. Well, they actually took out an arch devil. Ooh, three of them. Very good. And another one. Okay, this is going to hurt us much as it hurts you. Well, uh, took out the familiars and the royal griffins. Which I suppose makes... Oh, hey, we did it! 1400 experience. Sonya's now level 4. And we'll give her expert wisdom. Congratulations! You have completed your quest to kill the fearsome beast. And can claim victory! And so now we are going to save this. And then when we come back in the next episode, we'll start the next scenario. So we will see you then.